Yeah, man. Right back at you. Feel me? I just got out of work. I told you it's gonna be a short day. I already said it. I pre-said it already. Nah, I mean pre-ordain it. So if they come to you and tell you lies about he left work early, cause that's a lie. Watch my last video. When I was on my way to work, I told you niggas it's gonna be a short day. Plus, you can't request that kind of time off if you haven't given them 24 hours in advance. Shit. So it's like you can't. I can't even lie about. That. I can't just leave, nigga. Shit. I was the nigga that they were saying he ain't got no more time left. He ain't got no more time left. He's not gonna make it. I came to California with one hour. Crazy. That means I can only miss one hour. With one hour's work of time. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Just a different. It's just, it's just a different mindset, man. This is a whole nother graduation of mindset. I may not be rich when it comes to material stuff, but I'm damn sure filthy fucking rich when it comes to this shit, this mind game. You know what I mean? The way I just... The way I do my thing, it's like it's amazing itself. I can't even take credit. All praises to the most high. I know that's our taboo. And y'all niggas be like, oh, here you talk about God. I'm like, look, man, if you don't believe in him, that's on you, man. But I can't take credit for the things that's going on right now. I'm just being used, you feel me? I mean, look at me. A punch here, punch there. You feel me? Niggas is bad, like they beating me up so I don't have to work. But yeah, I'm still working, doing my thing, you feel me? Being abused. Managers looking the other way like they don't even see nothing. As a matter of fact, some of them are even sending in the button. They're pushing the button on things. You feel me? You feel me? So, it is what it is. I don't bat on white today, I'm bat on yellow tomorrow. Feel me? Talking race now. I don't know when I'm bad on Hispanic today. I'm bad on white tomorrow. I start off with Hispanic. They be funny with their shit, but you know how that go. Slick. They be slick with their shit. They you go with the whiteies, and you know they niggas. They be going hard too. And we talking about individuals. We ain't even talking about a whole race. I'm just talking about people. And that's how they picked up, my nigga. And you see them, they come out. You know what I mean? Every time when I get out of work. And I be knowing, because I could tell from the reaction of other people that it was this particular group of people that I was actually arguing with. Oh, not even arguing, in secret competition with. Because you could see the aggression and some of them be happy and some of them be like, they're looking at you. And I'm like, damn, my nigga, like, fuck. <laughs> like, what is your problem, bro? You feel me? Like, like they, want, they want more, like... It's like they are mad that that person had to go against me. At least that's the feeling that they gave off. And it's like... It's like that white guilt shit sometimes, you feel me? It's like... It's like, nigga, is you racist or you not? Or you just don't want people to know type shit. Feel me? Or they come out around and they start driving their white pickup truck. And they try to represent white pick... Like, that shit is mad corny. As you can see, white pickup. I can show you as, as long as you don't hear me talking, I can show you as, and they basically represent. Sometimes Hispanic niggas be driving a white pickup too. Just know, they, they egging it on. <laughs> niggas are some instigators, bro. <laughs> Them niggas be egging that shit on. Word up, but they, they, they the quarterback of this shit over here. Trust me on that, man. Sometimes they let that shit off them. Because I be calling them out. So then they didn't let Whitey have it. And then Whitey think he's in charge. But you not, my nigga. Because they're the ones that be going harder than hard. The Spanish niggas be going mad hard. You feel me? But we talking about individuals. You feel me? So I don't want all these insecure motherfuckers coming around here with that mean mug and mean face. You should be mean mugging and mean facing that one of your people is behaving in that particular manner. 
That's what you need to be me mugging and mean facing about. Do not come around when they, that shit ain't got nothing to do with you. Another white pickup, white cars. You know, that's that's it. Like these people, you know, they they kill me with their bullshit sometimes. Like I be like, yo, what the fuck? You mad because I'm calling our people. <laughs> You mad because I'm calling out people that look that look just like you. And I say, yeah, some Hispanic brothers. Then you're going to be mad because I said the word Hispanic or Latino. Or, if you, or sometimes I say, yeah, some white people. Then they're going to be mad. It's like, oh, we going to show you some. I'm like, no, you're only showing me what you are as an individual. You feel me? Because you just look, this. that's just an excuse. That was a perfect time for you to strike. Oh, he said white? What? <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on, man. Let's be for real. Y'all niggas, y'all, y'all, gotta, y'all gotta just come out. You know what I mean? Step out and just write a shirt. Now, I am racist. Just put it there. I just don't... Sometimes I just don't like Negroes. We feel better like that. I be like, ah, at least he kept it all the way 100. You feel me? My niggas be using the worst excuses. It is the worst excuse. And I'm like, yo, come on, man. Then when I speak my mind, that's the shit that hurts me more. It's not even about the punching and everything else like that. That shit don't even hurt me, my nigga. I ain't even going. I'm not capping or anything else like that. Yeah, of course, in the long run, it might do some damage to me. But that's neither here or there. I don't really give a fuck about the whole situation. But what really hurts me is the fact that I am going through this travesty. And yet they get mad because I speak about it openly without no fear. You feel me? Let me show you another white picker. Another one. That's, I guess I done started a trend now. They're going to be doing it. Some people are just, <laughs> yeah, once you tell them something, they're going to keep doing it. But then again, there's black pickup truck, there's blue pickup truck, whatever. So we're not even going to give that shit power or energy. But truth be told, man. It's like, yo, I am going through this travesty, and I can't see You trying to tell me that you mad because I'm speaking about it? Yo, holla at me, man. I'm tired of these people. I'm, t- I'm tired of kind of energy. That's when I want to holler and just cause violence myself. Like, fuck you mean, nigga? Who do you think you are now? Now you letting that shit get to your head. You feel me? Now they letting that shit get to their head because most of the attacks that's being done on me is, th- is being done behind my back. You feel me? Either they got to drug you intoxicate you or do some sneaky type shit but it's always very sneaky and behind your back so now you thinking that you big you bigger than life itself now you you may you taking it mad and you want to all right come on come holler at me i'm right here you feel me do that shit in front of me be the man that you supposed to be don't be doing that shit behind nick's back like that shit is weak don't bring no weapons. Just bring what God already gave you, which is your hands and your sloppy body, and bring it on. Feel me? That's all I'm saying. Because these people want to fight you behind your back and shit like that. That should be weak. And I'm, I'm tired of weak people too. Because there was another, there was two Spanish guys in the car, and he's in the car. He got glasses on, and he's smiling at me and he laughing and shit, indicating that he knows me and shit. Bro, I'm not even talking about you. I do not know you. I'm speaking of those that are, are that are in secret competition with me. So your action tells me that you part of it too. You feel me? Just because I said the word Hispanic does not mean that I'm coming at all Hispanic people. I said those Hispanic that was against me. Yeah, that's it. But nigga, you don't have to be all emotional about this shit. Like, y'all niggas be killing me with your insecurity. And there's no reason why y'all should be insecure. I'm like, yo, what the fuck, my nigga? Why you so defensive about the word? Calm down. Ain't nobody trying to... <laughs> we not doing no DNA, ancestor DNA or nothing like that, bro. We not doing none of that, bro. We not doing no none of that. I'm not saying nothing else, bro. All I said was some people of the same origin, some of them could be Hispanic or white, so why are these people, individuals, being mad about the whole shit? And that should be killing me. Because they make it seem like I can't express my feelings. And that's not going to happen. Because I will keep expressing it and I will keep saying it. And that's what we're going to go toe to toe for. And that's the war right there. Because I'm going to keep saying it. And I'm, I'm, gonna keep, I'm just calling it out how I see it. I'm going to be on my Tupac shit.
I'm gonna just call it how I see it. Feel me? And don't get mad because you fucking you a, you a hypocrite. Cause it's much easier for you to be mad at me than for you to be mad at those who you think look like you and I'm calling them opponent. Instead of you being a real man, that's what a real man would do. A real man would have approached those crowd and told them, look, man, let's just assume, right, there's a bunch of people that look like me with big noses. <laughs> I gotta make fun of it. Let's just assume, right? There's a bunch of people that look like me, big nose and big eyes, right? They look like the Jeffries. And they was doing the things that they was doing. I do not need the Jeffries to do those things for me to feel confidence about myself. I have that within me already. If I, a matter of fact, that is degrading me for anybody to look like me and to act in that way. Fuck out of here, man. I refuse. Like, I refuse. Like, I really do refuse. And I hope y'all niggas can hear me loud and clear. I do not need anybody that looks like me, that got a big nose, or that got a big eye, or that look like the Jeffries. You feel me? To be doing what they're doing. Then I have confidence within myself and walk both. Like, how insecure, how shallow was you that you needed to rely on this action for you to have some kind of confidence? You understand? This is why I keep coming at these individuals. And if I call them by the ethnic group and everything else like that, allow me to. It ain't got nothing to do with you if you're not part of it. That's all I want to say to niggas, bro. Like, I'm going to keep calling niggas out. Niggas is shallow. You feel me? You getting mad because you, 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 you drawing energy from their actions. Eventually, you will join in because you want to be boisterous and walk around boldly. Because you want to draw some form of energy. You want to get a fucking hernia out of this fucking action. It's like, yo, you should go get, a, go get a pill. Go get your fucking, go do something that can help you. Not that. Like, you feel me? How insecure was you that you had to rely upon this filthiness? That's what it is. It's a filth. That, the action is filthy. It's disgusting. It's a slime. You feel me? Let's just call it for what it is, nigga. Like, I know we... Shit, the mind is a powerful thing. We can, we can, we can lie to ourselves and make it seem like it's the best thing. No, it's not. It's a filth. It's dirt. It's trash. That's why they behave and act like that because they want to. They, they, they like they, they know the behavior is trash. They know the behavior is filth. So it, 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 it streams out of them. It's like a streaming service. That's nothing but trashy. That's the only thing that they're gonna serve you. Because it's streaming out of them, so they couldn't sell you nothing else. Because they can only, they're a reflection of what they are. So they can only do what they are. You understand? That's why, that's why you see what you see with the food and everything else like that. With the behavior and everything else like that. And I got to call them out on it. And please don't get mad at me. Matter of fact, I don't care if you get mad at me. I just, when I say please, I want you to understand it. Don't act oblivious. And act that if I'm just talking gaka doodle da da ba da boo boo da shoot it shoot it boo da boo da please don't do that and don't try to get other people to do to fight your battle you gotta fight your own battle a lot of niggas don't have the balls to fight their own battle so they get everybody else involved into something that has nothing to do with them this is how it started out let's go back to the origin this is how it started out in the first place. For some strange reason, they picked the biggest geographic people, which is white. Then they're going to pick the Hispanic. Then in New York, they picked the Chinese. So they're picking all these huge geographic people. And they even talk about gays and lesbians. So you're picking all these people. And I happen to just not like the biggest group of people. I just have a death wish for these things that I want to be for the biggest and baddest of them. It's all a lie, my nigga. You see it for yourself. You know it's a fucking lie. You feel me? <coughs> What's happening? You feel me? You see it for yourself, man. Right? Like, but don't let the niggas fool you, man. I put in my, I put in my time fast. You have to give them 24 hours before you can put in that time. So I didn't leave work, cause no, I left work, cause it was already pre-planned. I planted it a long time ago. Then I'm like, is the last day of the year? I'm gonna just walk. You know what I mean? I'm gonna just do what I gotta do. 
They didn't even want me to work in the first place. They acting like there was no work in the building, which is all lies. You feel me? But yeah, nah, man, if there was people that looked just like me, if I was Hispanic or I was black or, no, not I was black, if I was Hispanic or white, I would not draw my energy from them, from the things that they do. You're not going to make me feel confident because one of my brethren or one of my whatever countrymen did something like that. And I feel so proud. Where was that pride? Where was that pride? Where was your pride at? Where was that before that? Where was it? That's the true pride. Don't take no fucking pride from such filth. My nigga, come on, man. Where was that pride at? Like, that pride don't exist, man, just because it happened to Jeffrey, man. That's disgusting. Like, that's why I got to call him out. Like, please don't blame me for keeping all the way 100, my nigga. I got to keep it all the way 100. Because they'll have none. Because these individuals do not have that confidence that they need. You feel me? So they got to do all this filthy shit to you and be like, no, he's just talking shit. Oh, look at the way he smells. Oh, look at this and look at that. Oh, look at his girl this and his girl. Like, please, you in, you are insecure. So the things that you pick to argue about is... Yeah, definitely. You too. So the things that you pick to argue about are senseless. You feel me? Like, I just got to point it out. and I make it A, B, and C. Like... Because I can't even read myself, so I got to make it as simple as possible. A, B, C. I said A, B, and C. A, B, yeah, whatever. A, B, and C. Yeah, A, B, C. <laughs> I got to make it as simple as possible. You feel me? Because most of these, most of this shit is just a lie in the front. They're so insecure that it's like I know her so well. Because I've seen this movie happen too many times. So I can, I can tell it very well. I wrote the script. I direct my own movie. Fuck it. I even played in my own movie. Shit. I ain't never met a nigga that played in his own true story. True story. You dig? So they just do this shit for cloud purpose and a lot of insecure. The reason why people resonate with these things because, my nigga, I show a lot of confidence. Like Nature Boy said. If you a confident person, shout out to Nature Boy. If you a confident person, the only thing, not the only thing, the thing that you're going to attract the most is the opposite of you. Are people who are less confident than you. You feel me? Like, come on, man. And, like, that's why I don't like Buma that much. Like, they, they're doing shit like this. Counting down trees. These trees didn't need to be cut down. Look at this shit. Indicating that they was cutting down my head. Feel me? These are insecure behaviors. This is not just about me. This is just to show other people, like, oh, look at what I can do. This is like they're trying to show strength. And truth of the matter, they're just scared of each other. They're just going back and forth with each other, using me. You feel me? Like I said, man, face me, man, face me, fat, face me. But I got to let them know. I got to let them know, man. I got to let them know. Damn. I was walking slow. and still got here. I could have still made it on time. But look, man. They are insecure. Insecure about who they are. That's why they got to do all this extraness. Extra. This is out of fear. When somebody acts in that matter and try to be disruptive, those are just out of fear. You can see it. I don't understand how y'all niggas ain't never been through nothing before. But I've been through so much that I know that I know the behavior very well. When a kid is acted out, that's just fear. They just want attention. Sometimes some of them want attention, but some of them just don't want nobody to fuck with them. So they feel like they be so fearful. They be like, <laughs> and start acting crazy so nobody can act crazier than them. It's just fear. You just fearful of what's going on. That's why, that's that's the reason why you acting like that. That's why. People say that, oh, he's just doing this for attention. How can I be doing this for attention? Who does something like this for attention? This is completely the wrong way to go. You can tell from the way I articulate myself, I have a little bit of more sense than that. Who does that? You feel me? When people are looking at something that they cannot easily understand, and you have a world where everybody has their own problem, guess what? They're going to find the easiest way to try to explain what's going on. So their best explanation is, oh, he's just looking for attention. Oh, yeah? 
but you're going to disregard everything else that's going on. What kind of attention seeker would get punched in the face and do all that bullshit to them? <sighs> I'm wasting my breath with y'all niggas. Let me go in here. Shout out to Snoop Doggy Dog. You know, I'm in your state, Cali. That man don't age. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah, last time I came here, I didn't like how the soda tasted. Anyway, man, but you understand what I'm saying, man. DC food, man. I really didn't come on here to talk about that. I'm going to spend the next 17 minutes talking about Tupac and um, what he said in the song. And I'm going to explain it how he's a prophet. And that that's the thing that's going on today. So once I get out of here, I'm going to let y'all niggas know. And that man can't tell. He said, Damn, that show was so hard. What he said, yo, I'm a, I can't, I can't say it word for word, but it's prophecy. You dig? <laughs> right, what am I getting, man? Because this is ridiculous. I don't want to waste my money. That's a fact. Hold on. What time is it? All right, let's. Do it. I gotta come back. As a matter of fact, that's the end of this video. The next video is going to be about the Tupac one. All right, but y'all get it, man.